Uh, hey, Moana Inchi, I'm Gift Fred from Uganda Sports Club Villa. I'm very happy to meet you. I've been following and I know what it means to play for this team. I know the team has vibrant fans who demand a lot and which the team has managed to meet because every season at least the team counts for a trophy. And I'm very pleased to be part of the team that is going to offer you what you want. And I'm going to work hard to fit into the new environment in everything so that we can we can achieve all our given targets. Uh, Daima Mbele, Nyuma Mwiko. Nyuma <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's over. Mambo vipi mtu wa kazi, mtu wa nguvu, shabiki wa klaubi ya taifa. Leo na bitu wangei kinguvu nguvu, tutupo na mtu wa nguvu kwa likweli. Si mwingine ni Gift Fred kutoka Uganda. Ame wasili hapa, ame kuja kufanya kazi. Karibu tusikie maneno machache kutoka kwake. Na hii ni interview exclusive na yeye kwa mara kwanza tangu waweze kusign wino hapa Young Africans anazungumza na Yanga TV. Matumaini yangu utaenjoy. Nikukaribisha kuanzia sasa hivi mpaka tutakapotamatisha na kama bado huja subscribe fanya kusubscribe sasa hivi Yanga TV ili uweze kusikia madini ambayo anayazungumza Gift Fred. How are you my brother? I'm good. How about you? I'm good. We speak Swahili, we speak Luganda here, or we speak English? <laughs> I guess we shall use English, maybe Swahili with time I'll go on learning. Okay, Swahili, uh, have you mastered some Swahili words since you were in, you, you in East Africa, Uganda, Tanzania, the same time? I can survive using Swahili. <laughs> I can try to survive because I have some little Swahili with me. Okay, like Mambo VP, VP. Yeah, I know there's Asante. <laughs> the, yeah. Welcome, young Africans, my brother. Thank you. Uh, why did you choose Yanga apart from the offers that you heard? Uh, of course, it's an obvious option. Yanga is the best club in East Africa, and it's one of the biggest clubs also in Africa. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's a deal that needs a player to look into twice. Mm -hmm. And I looked no back when I heard of Yanga that I, it was in need of the services. Of, of course, as a player, I also needed to improve on my career and to meet the required targets. Mm -hmm. And I'm very happy to be here. Very happy to be here. We are very happy you to be here uh, in Young Africans. I think you will enjoy and you will play well, as our prayers always say. Um, apart from the position that you play, you are a central back. I think uh, you, 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 are, you play as a defensive. Oh, is there any position that you are capable of playing? As for my case, as for my own opinion, I believe in being positively effective in every match and I guess I can be more effective when I'm only playing centre back unless mm. I've never tried I've never tried playing striking but I don't <laughs> know but I think to be more effective in the results of the game I am just a centre back. You're just a centre back. You know, we we, we witnessed centre back uh, doing some great things like uh, Sergio Ramos, Thiago Silva, they also score. Uh, if the chance happens, you can score too, right? Yeah, I can score, but again from centre-back, I can at least report in the set pieces of the team and we make it of val valuable to the mm. team results. Can't wait the moment to start. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you think there will be a challenge or pressure uh, to you to play in such a club like this, maybe full of uh, fans in the stadium, they really want results and such kind of stuff like that? Uh, probably there is a big challenge given that Tanzania is a... Anyway, first of all, let me first thank the Tanzanian fans. You people really do love football compared to our home side in Uganda. And I'm sure all, all players play to the, expect, to the expectations of their, of their fans. Of course, much is needed, much is demanded. And I'm sure this is a big club which, are, which, was, which emerged as champions last season. And of course, the pressure will be more high this season. And I believe it's a challenge to please the fans because we play for the fans. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a it's a big challenge that I have to get into the squad. Mm -hmm. I will have to get used to the new environment, but I'm sure I will adopt on with time. Inshallah. Uh, Mwananchi, Mwamba tangu ni meanza kumuuliza hapa na niambia anafura hakubwa sana kucheza Young Africans, hamechagua Young Africans kwa sabu ni timu kubwa, ni timu bora na hakuangalia nyuma alipopata tu offer kuja Young Africans. Ni memuliza na fasi gani anaweza kucheza zaidi, ye ni central back na anamina anaweza kufanya vizuri hivyo, lakini pia anaweza kufunga kiwa kama central back. Central back.
naendelea kuzungumza naye hapa bila shaka kuna madini huu ni mwamba kutoka Uganda amecheza na Khalida Ucho ni national team player kuna kitu gani kinamconnect yeye na Khalida Ucho kucheza hapa lakini pia anajifikiria vipi kucheza na Khalida Ucho amecheza na timu ya taifa na yuko naye hapa how do you feel to play with your homemate Khalid Ucho in a foreign land like Tanzania and how did he talk about Yanga and when uh, president Hersi came to your side when you started to talk about Yanga what did Khalid Aucho advise you uh, of course of uh, Khalid Aucho doesn't have doesn't have what to say much because at least we've been following this club we know how he has been playing mm -hmm. so I've been talking with him mm -hmm. he has been briefing me on some stuff I have to do mm -hmm. have to be serious have to be hard working have to apply all my extra work in any place I'm given mm -hmm. on and off the pitch I have to be disciplined mm -hmm. uh, I guess it was already it was already some motiva motivating stuff that he was also involved in the squad that played last season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he had little to tell me because I already knew because we were following, we are, it's a, we are on media. Mm -hmm. we, the club is too vibrant. There's no way you can mm -hmm. live in the football life without hearing about Young also in East mm -hmm. Africa. So mm -hmm. at least I know what, mm -hmm. what to expect right now here at Younger. I'm glad, I'm, I'm happy to hear that and I wish all the best. Apart from football, uh, Jifti, what is your another talent? What you also do apart from football, uh, maybe? Uh, as in for now, I only concentrated on football because it was back then where I used to mix, but mm. as knowing that I had the talent and I had to train, I had to put all my focus into football. Yeah, as I, as I was studying, I was pursuing a diploma in IT, which is still going oh, on. Diploma in IT. <laughs> Yo, that's, that's some other stuff I can do, maybe, but that's after for life of football, after retirement. That's when I'll look onto that, because at least I believe yeah. I'll first get a living, I'll get the connections, I'll get the love from people, yeah. and I'll, at least I'll get a better life after here. I think they'll give you a nickname here, IT technician, a central big technician. I think they'll give you that name, inshallah. When you play, when you play good, I think the nickname will be there always. Uh, I don't want to say like role model, but someone maybe you see he is influencing you. Who is that? Who is that person? Uh, I have many people who used to influence me, and at least I look on to them. And of course, when life goes on, you get on to, you get to see many other people. Of recent, of back then, I had. Even now, I still am inspired by. Ibrahim Sekaja is now the captain of Red Bulls. Yeah. He was a Ugandan national team player, Ugandan captain. Mm -hmm. At least I used to look on to him. I used to, I wanted to imitate his path, yeah. and I think I'm going the right track. Mm -hmm. Never I may stay at Yanga, become a coach like he did at New York Red Bulls yeah. for the for the junior team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and of course for a mentor, you get anyone who is close to you, you want, who can advise you every time. And I think I'm going to get a mentor when we, when I join the rest of the team. At least that's why I will choose someone to guide me over my career yeah. during my time at Yanga. Inshallah. Uh, lastly, let's talk to Wananchi. You know, Yanga did well in different uh, tournaments, uh, CAF Confederation. Uh, they took uh, Community Shield, uh, NBC Premier League. Uh, FA Cup, they all uh, took them, they won. What is your plan? Because young Africans, they did well as a player individually. What is your plan with young Africa? Uh, as a player, I joined the top flight football last, the last two years. I've never won an individual, I've never won any team award. Mm -hmm. And at least I tried with my recent club, but we lost out at the final day where we lost to some other team in Uganda. Mm -hmm. And Hearing about Yanga, which had won everything here, I think it's the time to make it happen that we shall defend and win it for the third consecutive time if possible. But I'm sure it's, it will all be done with all God's work and prayers, we shall make it. And I, I feel I want to have a, a team performance award as like a trophy with Yanga, because I've never won any since I joined my top flight, apart from the individual accolades. Yes, lastly talk to the fans from Uganda, what is your word to them? Uh, the fans in Uganda, I believe that most of you are very happy, however much you can't please all people, but I'm, I'm sure I'm, uh, that most of you are happy for me being here. It's a great step towards my career and towards the career of Ugandan football. At least I, I will use this experience to, to, to improve on my gameplay, game decision, ex as an experience as a whole. 
and I hope to keep my name up so that I can be summoned to the national team for the rest of the coming games so that we can perform, we can qualify to the AFCON, we can qualify to any, to, to any, to any domestic co co competition in Africa and I'm sure this is a good step that will make everyone proud. Inshallah, and everyone will be proud of it. Um, wish all the best, my friend. Ebana, wamba me maliza. Mi sina lengine la kongezea na ito alwata ni mwazangu ni Frank Mpelumbe. Kwa heri. Only on Yanka TV.